Alrighty, so this one's going to be a little bit weird, but I wanted to try out Ragnarok Lost Vein because I thought he could be kind of a fun unit. He does have um, an AoE debuff card that we can sort of help apply just extra debuffs in general right off the bat. Um, he's got some decent potential for like getting an ultimate kind of fast because of his passive, if you don't know. I think he just starts the battle by taking the enemy with the highest ultimate move gauge and copying it. So I think it'll be this Meliodas right here. So he should gain two ultimate move gauge, yeah. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Not 100% sure how it's going to go, of course, but uh, we will definitely see. Uh, well, uh, that's unfortunate. Either way, um, <laughs> we're going to come back after I got to buy some more tickets. But uh, if you're new to the channel or anything, feel free to subscribe. We're on the way to 15k, and that'd be super cool. But uh, yeah, give me a sec. We'll hop back in. Alrighty, okay, well now we have a demon team, which is probably not going to go as good. Um, we'll kind of have to play it by ear on this one a little bit. Uh, I think I maybe use this first turn to set up, even though uh, the demon team is going to apply darkness debuffs to me, which is not great. So let me just move this for now. Uh, we'll try to get to a decent position here, because with Deanne Relic... Oh, I thought this was an AoE debuff. I'm an absolute moron. Uh, I thought that that was an AoE, so that is obviously not nearly as good. But uh, hey, you know, uh, it is what it is. We did apply a couple of extra, whatchamacallit, attack-related stats debuffs because of Bond's passive, uh, because he is a sin. Um, I just did a video with Ragnarok Deanne and Ragnarok Brunhild, or Red Brunhild, I guess, technically. Um... And I think that Lost Vein could actually kind of slot into that team maybe pretty well instead of Brunhild because he'll still get the uh, the damage cap from the Ragnarok Deanne Relic, but at the same time he still helps proc bon uh, yeah Bond's passive, so that could be kind of cool actually. Um, I'm gonna go for this play right here. I need to not get myself timed out here. Uh, I'm just gonna try to do a couple of extra little bit of damage here and then we're going to kill off the Esterosa so that way I can reset my stacks and he doesn't encroach me here uh that should help out quite a bit I think so 101 uh, not the greatest um I think the attack related stats lower could be okay it is a 20 percent so that's kind of nice it does not apply to Bond's passive by the way Bond's passive literally says in uh, the extortion zone uh, part of it that it has to be the ones that you apply from his passive specifically that count towards him getting increased stats. So, unfortunately, it's not going to work like incredibly well. Like, it's not going to synergize that deep, but uh, altogether, it shouldn't be too bad. So, um, let's just go for another bond combo. Try to kill off the melee here. Hopefully, this is enough damage to kill off the melee. Um, he does have a little bit of damage reduction on. Pretty good damage right here. 50k with the passive, or with the, the pierce guard. Ooh, he's got Tarmia Link on him. I should have looked at that beforehand. That's unfortunate. Um, that definitely stopped me from killing there. But I do have ultimate with Deanne. He's going to have to attack twice with Melee if he wants to get the true magic off. Which I might be okay. This is probably still going to hurt. Okay, that does hurt. Um, what's the last card here? Is it a melee card? Oh, it is. No. Okay, I think we survived that. That's actually pretty good. Um, I have another bond combo as well, which is really good for me. So let's just go for the Deanne ult into the bond combo, and that will kill. Wait, I'm disabled on bond. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> all planned out. Totally fine. Uh, we're good. No big deal at all. Uh, I was, I don't know. Lost Fiends is interesting. We'll keep going. Alrighty, we have another demon team, of course. Why wouldn't we? Um, CC's a little bit on the lower side, which is kind of good for me. I'm tempted to go for Melee first, now that I have a level 2 combo. Uh, he doesn't even have the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, the big decrease. Or he doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have red Tarmia Link on, which is really good for me. So we'll see how this goes. Um... Okay, 45k. He still has a lot of damage reduction stacks on. Level 2. Nice. 107. That's, I mean, even if it was, like, just barely a kill, the fact that we killed is obviously what's important there. So, that's pretty good. We can go for Deanne's ultimate if we really want to. I'm tempted to try to go for Melly's ultimate. It could be kind of spicy. could be kind of fun. Um, 
don't necessarily know how well it's going to work out, really. But uh, it's going to take him a second to get... Well, I don't know. Maybe I should... Maybe I should just try to go ahead and go for it. Because uh, the Esterosa, he already has three stacks on me here. Um, well, he's disabled on Esterosa. And I could attack stat lower him as well. Which could be kind of fun. Uh, we're going to move it. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. I mean, it's a buy. It's We're literally just having fun testing the game. Uh, with or testing the bond with uh, different kinds of stuff here. I didn't want to use both cards because I feared that I was not going to be able to draw another one. Um, so we do have the ultimate. It's not going to do as much damage because we only have one card in hand. I do have it at 5-6 though, so that's pretty nice. Um, okay, that's the encroachment. I think the attack stat lower is <laughs> really helping a lot there though. So that's awesome. Um, I'm not expecting this to kill to be honest. Luckily, Esterosa is still disabled. Um, and this actually... Well, she's encroached, actually, so this isn't going to do that much damage, as I was hoping it would, maybe. Um, what's the ult looking like? 230. Okay. Not... <laughs> not really what I would call good. And then, boom. 58k. She is encroached, so obviously there's a little bit of... Uh, you know, not not greatness there. Um, he's disabled, so hopefully this doesn't deal too much. It's probably still going to hurt, but we'll see. Um, he doesn't apply his, like, lowers or whatever, his attack, defense, HP lowers. Ooh, okay, yeah, basically, like, pff, nothing almost. So that's fantastic. Uh, no bond combos, so um, bond kind of taking the backseat on this one, unfortunately, but, you know, it kind of is what it is. Let's go for, uh, I guess just in case, we'll throw the the Bond Pierce card out. So that way if we draw one of his tornadoes next turn and he survives this, which I'm doubtful, uh, we will be able to hopefully follow up. Let's see this. Big damage. Boom. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should have just went ahead and hit Chandler then because uh, obviously he had his relic buff on, like his HP related stats or whatever it is. Or maybe it's just HP. I can't remember. But... Um, Still no, <laughs> still no bond follow-up card either way. I get more Pierce cards, but ooh, does this kill actually? Nice. Okay. Well, that's uh something. <laughs> Moving on, I guess. Alrighty, uh, another demon team. Who would have guessed it? Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to the bond buff. Like I know some people are just kind of like, yeah, you know, they've already kind of wrote bond off and everything, and they don't really care whether he gets buffed or not. But I genuinely was having a ton of fun with Bond, like, just running him with Sins. So, the fact that I can potentially get even more fun out of the character and, like, have a whole new set of units to run with him to have even more fun, it just, it's kind of exciting for me. You guys, by the way, have absolutely killed it with the viewership and stuff this uh, this past week. Uh, I did two uploads every day um, last week, and it just went super, super well. You guys really, like, supported the crap out of me and i cannot thank you enough for that it was super super awesome to see just tons of like new people coming in we got tons of new subs every day uh just absolutely fantastic like literally couldn't have gone any better so that was super super cool so i do appreciate you guys for that thank you guys so much for you know supporting me and you know watching the content and stuff even if it's not always the most exciting stuff i know a lot of you guys are just you know re very regular viewers which is super awesome so very very cool of you guys um I need to go ahead and get rid of the, the Estorosa, I think, and then I'm going to go ahead and just play for a little bit of card space, I think. We're going to go ahead and attack stat lower on the Estorosa as well, just so that way he doesn't um, do too much with the encroachment here. Um, that killed, which is pretty good. This, okay, uh, Lost Vein, <laughs> Blue Lost Vein might not be the greatest unit of all time. Uh, we do disable Lost Vein there, though. Uh, we do have a... That was a level 2 card that I used, was it not? Or was it... Uh, I can't remember. But actually, I think it was. I can't remember how much it lowers on a level 2. But it should be actually pretty decent, I would hope. So not a whole lot of damage there. He doesn't encroach me, though. This might hurt. Ooh, okay, yeah. That's, that's pretty rough. And then he's dealing like 2,000 per hit, which is not too bad. Yeah, okay. We tank that really hard and then he disables himself again so basically just like last uh last match 
Um, we'll go ahead and hit him with the attack stat lower again. Let me see this. Uh, it is a 30% attack stat lower on level 2, so honestly, not bad at all. Get a little bit of a hit off here. We're going to disable our bond if we don't kill, which it's not looking like we're going to. He's actually really tanky. Um, level 2... Ooh, okay, 172. That actually did way more than I was thinking it was going to. With the with the damage that the Pierce card did, and obviously Melly's not going to do a whole lot of damage, so that wasn't a great indicator there. Uh, plus, we don't have the DN Holy Relic active at the moment because we haven't gotten a stance. Uh, that actually went surprisingly really well. Um, so I'll take that for sure. Let's throw on a couple of extra buffs from the... Um, what you call it here? The the sins, you know, attack related stats buff. So that way, Bond does more damage. We'll use a one six ultimate here. Power strike just pff, absolutely or absolutely goes nutso mode. So that should be fantastic. Let's see the damage on this. Only two characters, but I'm hoping it kills both of them. Okay, does not kill a Cusack actually. Two thirty three, not not bad. I mean, obviously, if there was anybody of you know more. More of a threat on the field. It probably would have been a really bad uh, bad play there and uh, wouldn't have worked out too well, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have three cards in hand with Lost Vein, and we can throw up the, uh, the Deanne Relic, which is kind of nice, so extra damage dealt. Let's see this. Three cards in hand. Five, six, Lost Vein. Bam. 144. Honestly... <laughs> not that great. I, I think that actually dealt maybe almost the same amount as it would have done to one character as Bond did. So maybe not terrible considering how old this character is compared. But uh, we have one more match. So let's do that. Alrighty. Last match here. You could have guessed it. Probably coming from a mile away. Another demon team. Um, hmm. I think we might go for first turn setup this game. Uh, try to get rid of the... Hmm. I think we attack with this, so that way Melly's not doing too much damage, hopefully. Because we're only going to remove one stack on him this turn. And then... Hmm. Uh, we could potentially level 2. I think I don't play that as a level 2, though, to be fair. Um, if possible. He has Nanashi in the back, which is very bizarre, actually. Don't, I don't know that I've ever seen a Nanashi in the back for a Demon Team before. Like, the Demon Team literally has so many great backliners that I don't know why you would use Nanashi, to be fair. I mean, I guess it'll make him the, ta the team tankier, which could be okay, but I don't know. Um, now that I think about it, I kind of do want to play for some card space, if possible. That way, this will hopefully kill Estorosa... Um, and we'll get some extra attack-related stats off before Bond's combo goes off. Ooh, this is that was way more damage than I was expecting. Um, okay, a little bit of overkill on that one, so <laughs> I guess it uh, is what it is there. So, killed him off. Only 124, which is not the greatest on the Tornado card there. We get two more Tornadoes, so silly me should have uh, listened to myself and not wasted both of my... Uh, Pierce cards there. Definitely. I think the, the play is to definitely not um, go for, you know, wasting the cards on, on Bond there. If you can play them all separately instead of stacking them up, I think it's ideal. But obviously, you know, sometimes you just got to go for it. Sometimes you... you card space can be really important too because you're merging, you're going towards ultimates, you know, this and that. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't really blame myself for going for it. Uh, we're gonna give him, I'm gonna go full card space here, but we're also gonna be able to take off the ultimate, which is great, but we, I, maybe I shouldn't have attacked with Bond here, because this isn't gonna do a whole lot of damage regardless. Actually, that did okay for some reason. Okay, I mean, that's great, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the Deanne Relic, we have a Bond combo as well, the Deanne Relic and the Bond combo should pair nicely together. Um, am I, uh, yeah, I just used stance last turn, so we should, we should still have this for another turn, uh, which means I won't have to use a stance this turn instead, and I can, I can use the ultimate and the combo, so that should be great. Um, yeah, I guess I will lower him, ultimate, and then finish him off. Actually, 
I forgot about the stacks, actually. So that's actually going to be very bad if this doesn't kill. Because the Nanashi buffs... Dude, the Nanashi buffs actually might save him here. Okay, never mind. Deanne's crazy. Uh, okay, I definitely misplayed there. I shouldn't... He, he only had two damage reduction stacks on, so he was going to cleanse the um, Mark of Concentration off. That was really bad on my part. But luckily, Deanne at 6-6 six, six with Holy Relic is nuts. So... Uh, either way, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any other team comps or, you know, interesting characters that you want me to try to mess around with them. Obviously, I don't have every single sin, like, leveled up to 100 or anything. But there are still a couple of characters that I do want to mess with. So, uh, we might mess around a little bit more. I know people might end up getting kind of sick of the Bond content. So, understandable if, uh, you know, you don't want to watch a Bond video every single day of the week. But uh, I'll try to throw some other stuff in there uh, if I can find some other stuff to mess around with. But that is it for me today. So feel free to subscribe, like I said. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. That means a lot. And I will see you guys later on. See you then.